Oh, hey, good day. This is Joe. I'm over at the Secret Squirrel World Headquarters of Camera Dactyl Cameras, Ethan Moses. And uh, Ethan has made a nifty pinhole camera system that uses recycled metal soup cans or bean cans, whatever kind of cans you buy for food. In this video, we're going to look at uh, Andy Pinhole, which is a lid for a soup can that turns it into a pinhole camera with a light baffle that you can pour liquid in and develop your picture inside of the soup can. So it just fits on the top like this with a piece of photographic paper or uh, Ilford Harmon direct positive, whatever, in the bottom. And uh, then when you want to take a picture, you uh, put uh, Andy's glasses on so he can see. And then when you're done, you take his glasses off so he can't see. And then you uh, can pour in developer and stop bath and fixer and pour it out um, and develop your picture in the soup can. Uh, it's pretty fun to do. Uh, it's fun to print a whole lot of them. Okay, so you have a couple of things, all of the printed parts. You have the main lid here. Um, that should be printed in black. You have the pinhole retaining ring the glasses, the mustache over here, and the uh, two glasses inserts. Uh, the hardware you will need for this is uh, four 10 by 2 millimeter neodymium magnets, uh, one 8 millimeter M3 screw, and one 12 millimeter M3 screw, or a 10 should be fine. Um, then you will need a piece of a soda can to make a pinhole. Um, and the tools that I use are a pair of gloves, um, a PCB drill bit. Uh, I like 0.2 to 0.4 millimeters for this, uh, depending upon your can size or depth. Sharpie marker is helpful, and a M3 uh, Allen key, or I'm going to use an electric screwdriver here. Um, and then I use one uh, solvent. Uh, it's called Weld On 3. Uh, it's usually used for bonding acrylic and acrylic welding. Uh, I like it for PLA as well. Um, it's super nasty stuff, so I use a pair of gloves. Um, and it comes with these lure lock needle tips that you can change. And basically, you just hold the pieces together and squirt some. We'll see that in a second. I use a little bit of cyanoacrylate or super glue, crazy glue. Um, the regular uh, thin kind. I don't like the gel for this project. All right, let's put this thing together. So the first thing I want to do is put the magnets into the eye sockets here. Um, and just for simplicity, I want to keep them all oriented in the same polarity. Doesn't really matter for now. Put a little cyanoacrylate in here. One, and two. Then I'm going to set this aside to dry where um, I'm not going to pull these magnets out with the other magnets. All right, the next things I'm going to do is put some magnets in the glasses insert. In the glasses holder. All right, put a drop in there, put a drop in there. And this guy here, oops, some on my finger. I'm going to put this well away so I don't flip it. And then uh, check again. Oops, glue my hands together. All right, yeah, that's way too much glue. Don't use that much glue. While that glue is drying, I'm going to move on to cutting the pinhole. I'm going to start with the pinhole retaining ring and drawing a circle with my Sharpie about the outside diameter and then one on the inside diameter. Uh, okay, and so now this tells me what's going to be inside the retaining ring and what's outside. And so when I cut this guy out, uh, I want to be inside of this line but outside of that line. It's a pretty good uh, reference. And then I'll just put a little mark for where I want my pinhole. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is cut this thing out. There we go. Alright, so the next thing you're going to do is drill yourself a pinhole with a PCB drill bit. These guys are very delicate. Basically you use one hand to press down and the other to rotate very gently. All right, and so then we're through. And once you're through, I like to run the drill bit in and out and clean up any burrs, spin it around. And I like to put the bit in from the other side and then just work it back and forth. 
I'm going to open up this hole a little bit larger than the drill bit, but it's going to be very round. So this part is optional, but it can't hurt to have a little less reflection here. Okay, then when you're done, you want to just check to make sure that pinhole is uh, not covered up with any marker tip fibers or anything. Uh, it's nice and clean when I look at, up to the light. So put this guy on its face, put your pinhole in here, grab your pinhole retaining ring, and this should be pretty tight and you should just have to press it in. Let's see, nice and firm. Uh. <laughs> okay, and then you can use something like the handle of a tool if you want to really click it into place. Now it's removable, but it's not going anywhere. Um, it's nice and tight in the back, and there you go on the front. All right, the next thing we're going to do is glue together the glasses. I'm going to put on some gloves because we're going to work with uh, Weld On 3, which is a solvent and it's probably pretty gross, so wear gloves, be careful. Work in a ventilated area. All right, so both of these guys go into the glasses like this. Please note the orientation of the glasses, which side goes where. Um, and then you just hold the parts together and drip a little bit of this solvent into the crack and it'll just get sucked up by capillary action and uh, melt the plastic together. So it's actually a welded bond rather than a glued bond. And you just sort of press and hold for a few seconds until uh, the inner surfaces get tacky and then they become one piece of plastic. And I'm gonna do that again for the other side. I'm gonna leave the gloves on even though the next step is not gluing because we're going to get to gluing in a moment. So while this is drying, I'm going to put in my short screw as a stop over here. And I run that screw all the way down to the surface of the print. And then this guy's dry, should fit like this. Um, we can put the second screw in now. Um, this is the position it'll be in is with uh, this magnet aligned here and this hole aligned. This magnet is not aligned when it's in the open position. Okay, so if you did that right, um, this guy should just be lightly snug against the uh, glasses and this should be flat against the black surface of the, the top of the lid print. And then you should have two magnetic detents for an, an action uh, like that. All right, but beyond the magnetic detent for this position, we want to add a physical stop as well. That's why I designed this uh, highly technical fuzzy print. Um, and I'm just going to glue this on here, uh, also with um, Weld On 3. So uh, the mustache is going to be in this position, centered over the uh, mouth, which is the light baffle. Um, and it's going to be right up against the glasses when they're in the down position and aligned over the pinhole. So again, I'm just going to hold this down like this and bring the needle applicator in, squirt a little bit and watch it get sucked up at the edge of the print. I'm going to do that in a couple of points. Just let it work in. I'm being a little careful not to glue the glasses to the pinhole. Uh, while I have the mustache being glued. So once I get it tacked in place, I flip the glasses up and now we can really glue this uh, shutter stop or mustache down well. Do you want to take some pictures? Yeah, let's do it. Great! Set timer for one minute, 20 seconds. 20 seconds, starting now. Okay, all right. It's in the can. Pouring channel. This what drink are we making today, Joe? We're gonna make a Kool-Aid Tang and Dectol. Cool. It's good for the electrolytes. All right, that should do. Just swirl the 
this around like I will, a tank. I uh, will set my uh, dive timer. For. Okay. I think the way to use this is straight to fixer and straight just to fix her. Okay. one shot the fixer. But since yeah. you've made it, yeah. you know, it's nice. Yeah. But that's just. <laughs> okay, call it right there, the start of it. Alright, I think we can even open it up now. Yeah. Probably. Well, I was really happy with the results that we got from the little uh, Andy pinhole, pinhole camera named after Andy Warhol, of course. Um, so it's a really cool idea uh, reusing what would be recycled or discarded soup sauce cans as the body of a camera, making this little 3D printed lid that serves as a shutter and also a pour spout as a developing tank, essentially. Very neat idea. I enjoyed using the camera. Look forward to seeing what else Ethan has in store as he types on my Hermes 3000. Well, this is Joe. Stay creative, have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye for now.